Hey everyone, Rich with Peter and Sensei Zoe here again to bring you another class for today. So we're gonna start off with warm up. This time we're gonna do arms today, get our arms going. So first one, Sensei Zoe's gonna go on her hands and toes, push up position, and she just shoulder taps with one hand and then switches. Now if this is a little tough, what you can do is you just put your knees down and do the same thing, just like that. Nice, good, second one, push-ups, okay? Doing your push-ups as far down as you can. Again, if it's too hard, need a little bit of extra help, you just put your knees down, doing your push-ups that way. Okay. Next one is called crossover, so she's in push position. She steps her hands and feet over to one side, and then she goes back, and again, to one side, and back. Good, and next one, up. This one, you're gonna need a chair for. Okay, so since she's gonna turn around, place her hands on the side of the chair, legs go straight out, and she just does dips, bending her arms as far as she can, and then back up. If it's still a little hard, just bring your legs closer, keeping your knees bent, and dip in the same way, and back up. And then last one, so really tough, on the knuckles, just like that, you gotta hold it. If you really, if you really want to challenge, you can just do bend your arms, doing knuckle push-ups. Be sure to do those exercises for about a minute each, really getting the blood flowing, getting a good workout. So now we're gonna stretch out our arms since they're all warmed up, we wanna get a good stretch. So first one, since you're always gonna bring our arms over and under, cross them each time. One goes over, one goes under, and then switch. Next one, arms out to the side, she's gonna do small circles. And then slowly get bigger and bigger and bigger until she's doing full circles. Good, next one, she holds one arm across, pulls it in by the elbow, stretching out that shoulder and elbow, and then switches. Good. And then last one, she's gonna put one arm behind her head using her other hand to push down on the elbow and switch. Now for this one, if you get a really good stretch, put one arm behind your head and one arm behind your back and try to bring your hands to touch together. And then switch. Just like that. All right. All right, here's the first drill. We're gonna work on strikes today. So since he's always gonna go in a horse stance, I'm gonna say go, she's gonna throw one punch at a time. He dying each time, go. Next one, two punches when I say go. Go. Toe, toe. Go. Toe, toe. Go. Toe, toe. Go. Toe, toe. Again, do as many as you can. Now we're going to do four punches when I say go. Go. Toe, 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 toe. Go. Toe, 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 toe. Go. Toe, 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 toe. Good. Last one, ten punches when I say go. Go. Toe, 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 toe. Very nice. And nice. All right, next striking drill. Using the pad. Again, if you don't have a pad, use like a pillow or something soft. So I'm going to hold it right in front. Since Sue's gonna do her punch when I say go, go. Go. Two. Go. Two. Go. Two. Go. Two. Again, you can add punches. Now two. Go. Two. Two. Go. Two. Two. Go. Two. Two. Go. Two. Two. Good. Four punches. Go. Two. 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 Go. Two. 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 Ten punches. Go. Two. 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 Very nice. All right. Next striking drill. We're gonna use the ball again, just like we did yesterday with the kicks. So since he's always gonna hold it, she's gonna throw it up in the air and she's gotta punch it. Go. Two. Good. Good hand-eye coordination drill. And then she runs and gets it. Good exercise. Again. And you can always change it up with different strikes, like a palm heel or a claw or a hammer. All right, last strike we're gonna do, we need some paper for this one. I like to use a bunch of scrap paper, just so I'm not wasting paper. But since Sue is gonna get into her stance, I'm gonna hold the paper firm in my hand and extend it out. Do not hold it close, you might get hit. So I extend it out, since Sue punches, right through the paper. Now, to reuse it, you just fold them over. Now you got double layer. All right, go. Good. Then as you get better, you try more layers. Triple layer. Go. Good. And then last one. For now, four layers of paper. Good. Just like that. All right, here's our next drill set. We're going to work on our blocks. So since he's always going to put her hands up like she's telling someone, stop, leave me alone. She's going to cross them with the fists. She just brings one hand over her head, doing a high block. And then switches, and switches, and switches. Good, make sure it's nice and high, because if they hit you in the head, you want to block it nice and high. Next one, starting from here, making a fist, making an X, doing a middle block, bring it out to the side, almost like you're showing off your muscles. Go, go, go. Hold it strong, because you don't want anyone smacking you across the face. It'll hurt. Last one, she starts with her hands up, makes an X again with her fist, and does a low block. Again, low block, low block, low block, 
Good, hold it strong because you don't want anyone taking it. I want to have that low block nice and strong. Good, now you're going to put it all together. So high block, high block, middle block, middle block, low block, low block. Again, high, high, middle, middle, low, low. High, high, tap, tap, middle, tap, middle, tap, low, tap, low. tap, faster, tap. Faster, 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 every time. Just like that. All right, next block and drill. We're going to use the noodle to hit, and you got to do your blocks. Now, if you don't have a noodle, you can use something soft. You can even use the pillow like we used before for the strikes. So since he's always going to face me with her hands up, I'm going to hit her right on top of the head. She's got a block up high. Now, if she misses, I'm still I'm going slow. So if she misses and it hits her, she's not getting hurt, but she learned I missed the block, so I have to do it again. Do it properly. Don't get hit. Then next one right to the ear. She does a middle block, a middle block. Then I go for the hip. She does a low block and a low block. So again, high, high, middle, middle, low, low. And as you get better, you go fast. Tap, 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 tap. Just like that. All right, here's our last block and drill. This time, instead of going in order, high, middle, and low, you gotta start randomizing. So I'm gonna use wide swings, just so since he's always has a good way to practice learning where it's coming from. And as you get better, you go a little faster, faster. So this way she can just block. Trying not to get hit. All right, now it's time for level. So it's white belts, you're gonna start off with your strikes, since he's always gonna go to horse dance. You practice punching from your horse stance. Make sure your knees are nice and bent. Ready and go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. So that wrist is strong, keeping the fist nice and strong. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Next one, palm strike. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Very nice. Almost like a high five. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Good. Last one, claw strike. Making your hand into a claw and scratching out. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Your turn. Since Zoe's gonna go to horse dance, she's gonna take her fist, bring it up to the sky, and down like a hammer. Hammer fist. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Good. Next one. Bent knuckle strikes. You're gonna roll your fingers down halfway, just like that, and punching out with your knuckles. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. And last one. Thumb strikes. You're gonna make your fist, put your thumb on top, so this way you're hitting with your thumb and the fist at the same time. Ready and go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. Go. Tap. All right, yellow belt's your turn. Since Zoe's gonna set her stance, she's gonna do her strikes. Block. Step in. A multi shuto outside chop. Again and go. Hey. Tap. Good. Make sure your hand is folded in half. Doing a shuto just like that. Go. Hey. Tap. Good. Next one. Aura shuto. She's gonna block. Step in. Inside chop. And back. So again, go. Hey. Good, one more time. Hey, tap! Good, next strike, she con can, just like from orange belt, bent knuckle strike. Go. Very good, and back, and go. Hey, tap! Good, right into the chest, hitting with your knuckles. Go. Hey, tap! Good, last one, my Gary, front kick. Go. Block, and tap! Back, just like that. If you're working with someone, make sure they cross their arms. Go. Hey, tap! Good. Now, this would be a push back, so since he's always doing it on me, she blocks. Hey, kicks and pushes tap! me back. All right, green belts, here are your strikes. You're gonna set your stance just like yellow belt. Block multi shuto, block or shuto, block shikan ken, bend knuckles, and block my Gary. But this time you're gonna add the escape. So since he's always gonna block a multi shuto, hop away and set her stance. And then she resets. And she does again. If you don't have much space, just hop a little bit. Get used to that hop. So she blocks, does or shuto this time, hops, and stance. And then back. Next one, shikan ken, blocks. On Ken, hop and stance. And the last one, my Gary. Now, if you want to add a roll on any of these, you can. She blocks, kicks, hops, and then adds a roll. It could be a front roll, a back roll, a side roll, or even a power roll. All right, blue belts, here are your strikes. We're going to set our stance. First one, Fudo Ken. Block, step in, punch, reset. Next one, Ryu Ken. Block, two finger flick to the eyes. Next, Shitan Ken. Three finger right into the throat. Reset. So we can, four fingers to the neck. Chin can, five finger flick, right to the face. Next one, Shahan can, five fingers closed, hitting to the side of the neck. Shako can, claw strike, just like from white belt. Soki can, block, grab, and knee. And Soko can, block, and then kick straight up 
into the arm using your shin. All right, bird belts, here are all your strikes down. We set our stance. First one, Shuko Ken. Block, bent wrist strike. Sui Ken, hammer fist strike from Orange Belt. Next one, Shishin Ken. I block, sip in, pinky strike to the neck. Ko Ken. I bend my thumb on top of my fist and I hit with my thumb knuckle right to the temple. Shito Ken, same as Boshi Ken, but this time I use my thumb to slash across to the eye. Hapa Ken, there's three of them. I block, I use my cupped hand to hit the ear. I can do it again on the other side. And then I can do it with both. All of them are good. Next one, Oshu, palm heel, straight from wide belt. Soshu, full hand claw, right to the throat. Kikaku Ken, I block, I grab, headbutt. Make sure you go to the side, don't hit your partner. Shuki Ken, I block, grab, step in, elbow strike to the ribs. Tai Ken, this time I use my shoulder and I hit to the body, push them back. And last one, block, and she can bite. All right, brown belts, here are the rest of your kicks from yesterday. We set our stance, she punches, I go to the outside, I parry, and I use the part of my foot to hit to the shin, Mukuzunge, or stop kick, stopping her from punching in. Next one, Kurubushigari, I block, I grab, and I use the ball of my foot to kick to the ankle. And then reset, then I can go outside, block, kick. And last one, this time I use my ankle and I kick to her thigh. Kurubushige. Next one, Soko Fumiori. Block, grab, stomp, heel to foot. So again, block and stomp. Last one, Ushiro Muki no Sagari. As you punch, I just turn and back kick. Right to the hip. So again, Ushiro Muki no Sagari. Longest name, easy kick. All right, now time for a game. All you need is a die, a paper, and a partner. To play, what you need to do is first write numbers one to six on a paper, then put an exercise, you can even put a technique, a strike, a kick, whatever you want to do on that paper. And then you roll the die. I roll it for Sensei Zoe. It's a five, so Sensei Zoe has to do ski jumps. So she's doing it for one minute. Do her ski jumps, go, go, go. Good end time. Then I give her the die. It's her turn to roll for me, go. It's a four. So I have to do snowboard jumps for one whole minute. Then I roll again. This time, since the gets a three jumping jacks. So she's done that for one minute. So like I said, all you just need to do it with a partner, a die, and a piece of paper, and write down whatever you want to put on your numbers to do for the game.